Before this video begins, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, be sure to check out my affiliates down in the description below so you can get discounts on different car mods and products. Alrighty, let's get into the review. Hello and welcome! Today we are reviewing my 2004 Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew. This has the 5.5 foot short bed and the 4.6 liter Triton V8. I recently purchased this vehicle for $2,100. It currently has 240,000 miles on it, but has no real mechanical issues and passes state inspection. This is a one owner truck. I know the owner and their family, and uh, I know it was treated well, so I was uh, very intrigued to buy it because uh, trucks are cool to me, and uh, I do like the F-150. So this is uh, the first truck I've ever bought. So let's get into a full in-depth tour. So it is finished in shadow gray metallic paint with a gray cloth interior. Although it's not in perfect shape with a couple of dents and uh, it makes some noises, it does pass inspection, as I said, and has no mechanical issues. This is a full size pickup truck with two rows of seats and a bench seat up front so it can seat up to six people. This has a gross weight of 6,900 pounds and a curb weight of 5,502 pounds. MSRP back in 2004 when new sat at around $32,000. This is powered by a 4.6 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine, making 231 horsepower and 293 pound-feet of torque. This is the same engine as the Ford Crown Victoria. This is mated with a four-speed automatic transmission. This truck is a four-wheel drive model and comes with a tow hitch and has a towing capacity of 9,200 pounds with a payload of about 1,340 pounds. As for MPG, this destroys both my soul and my wallet, getting uh, 13 MPG City, 17 MPG Highway, and 14 MPG combined out of a 27-gallon fuel tank running on regular gasoline. This rides on 17-inch optional alloy wheels with 255 wide tires all around at a diameter of 31 inches per tire. This truck also comes with an underbody mounted full-size spare tire. This F-150 is the first year of the 11th generation from Ford, running from 2004 to 2008 model years. For safety, this doesn't have too much, but for the time it has a ABS, so anti-lock braking system, dual front airbags, front and rear ventilated disc brakes, and for 2004, it actually does have automatic front headlights with a light sensor, so that's pretty cool. For the exterior, this measures in at 224 inches long, 78.9 inches wide without the mirrors, and 75.3 inches tall. This rides on a front independent double wishbone suspension with a solid live rear axle. It also comes with a mechanical center differential and automatic locking wheel hubs. This has power heated side mirrors, which is a bit impressive for the age. As for modifications down the line, I would consider upgrading the speaker system as well as possibly adding a leveling kit, 33 inch tires or 35s, and also I am going to probably add a uh, valved muffler system at some point. But all my modifications depend on how long this truck actually lasts reliably. And let's have a step outside. So here outside the F-150, as you can hear, I have a lot of uh, noises coming out of the engine. Nothing severe, just uh, some belts I have to replace at some point, so that's the squeaking. It does have uh, some pretty traditional uh, Ford headlights of the time. I think they look pretty timeless. I like this design. And then uh, down below, you do get fog lights, which is good. And you also do get tow hooks for the front, and you get solid uh, steel bumpers in the, both the front and the rear. Over here, it's, uh, it's not a perfect paint job. It has a couple of scratches, a couple of dents. Uh, over on this side, I'll show it on screen. It has a good sized dent because a uh, basketball hoop actually fell on it a couple of weeks ago. So uh, yeah, we don't talk about that. Right before I bought the truck, uh, that occurred. So a little scuff in the paint, but nothing too severe. Over here, you get an F-150 XLT Triton badge. So this has the smaller of the two engines at a 4.6 liter naturally aspirated V8. The higher option was a 5.4 liter naturally aspirated V8, then making 300 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque. But the 5.4 is known to have a lot of problems, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to ruffle a lot of feathers with that, but I think the 5.4 is absolute junk, at least next to the 4.6. That are That is just my thoughts. Over here for those wheels, these are optional. You could have gotten full steel wheels, but these have an alloy cover on them. I think they look better than stock. Not as great as some other wheels, but uh, who knows? They're okay. 
over here, this uh, shadow gray metallic paint. I think it works. Uh, looks like a lot of modern grays. It's uh, a bit of a lighter gray, but it, uh, you know, it doesn't look bad. Over here, you actually get some uh, tint in the back window and in the rear window, so that is nice. Stock from the factory. Over here, uh, it does actually have a key fob option, and I do have key fobs, but I have to get those programmed. So currently, I am using the hard key. Here, I put some blind spot uh, mirrors just because it's a lot safer in a big truck like this. You do get some side steps running down the rear. Those are plastic, came from the factory, and uh, they're pretty good. They're not rotten. They're not rotting out or anything due to them uh, being plastic, but they're pretty well made. Over here, you do get um, a 4x4 sticker. Here you get those uh, rear, common again of the era Ford taillights, another F-150 badge, and your Ford badge. Back here, you get a partially damped uh, tailgate. It is a bit uh, sticky at this point, but it's okay. You do get a factory bed liner. This is full plastic, not just spray in, so that's good. They placed it over. And uh, this is the five and a half foot short bed. You also could get six and a half foot and eight feet beds in this uh, truck. And over here, as you can hear, uh, the tail is a bit sticky, but it works. Here you get your uh, tow hitch. This thing is uh, solid as can be. 9,200 pound towing capacity, very good. Over here, you do get uh, just a single exhaust system. Nothing loud, nothing exciting, as you heard in the startup, but we may change that at some point soon. Here it does have a bit of rust. It does uh, have some superficial rust, nothing too severe, but just uh, in the under panels and uh, definitely on the edges of the body panels, in the common spots, it does have some rust. But the frame's in good shape and most uh, other metal is hanging in there. Over here, you do get your old style antenna. So uh, I could do a delete on that, make a smaller one, but overall, I think it's fine. And then uh, for your uh, front profile from this side, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's a big truck, uh, but you know, I think it looks uh, well balanced, well proportioned. And um, yeah, I like the look of this body style inside. All right, so here for your door panel, there is uh, nothing close to luxury in here. This is uh, just gonna be solid rubber. This is your only like soft touch uh, leatherette material right here, but overall it's okay. You do get one touch uh, window for the driver, which is good. You do get power windows all around with window locks and the power mirror controls, of course. Then over here, you get a chrome uh, plastic door handle, but it doesn't feel too cheap, feels okay. Here you get your uh, stock speaker system. Nothing impressive, nothing too bad though, holds up decent. And then uh, that's gonna be about it. Here you get a side step. Here you get a bit of a door sill protector. Uh, here is uh, pretty typical of most F-150s and trucks. Uh, they get this uh, rip in the seat here, but nothing too bad. It is gonna be a full manual seat for controls. And stepping inside, here are gonna be your light controls. They are actually uh, not uh, a turn stock type thing, which is actually good in my opinion. So here, then you get auto lights. And if you pull out, you would get uh, fog lights in there. Over here to prove uh, the mileage, here is 240,850 at the time of filming. So this is a 19 year old truck, but it's been uh, mostly highway miles and uh, I can verify that. So overall, it's been uh, pretty reliable for the previous owner and uh, I think I got a good price on it. Over here for your steering wheel, it's gonna be a rubberized steering wheel. Uh, nothing too impressive, but overall, I think it's a pretty timeless wheel. It holds up well to this day. And over here, you do get some cruise controls and uh, on off and of course set all the cruise controls. Unfortunately, these do not work at the moment, but uh, you know, it's a 19 year old truck. Not everything is gonna be perfect. Here for your gauge cluster, it's gonna be a fully analog gauge cluster, but uh, I think it's very simple and uh, very easy to read. Uh, it lights up green at night, similar to the, um, the green over there in the odometer. And uh, yeah, I think it works well. Gives you also an oil pressure gauge as well as a battery gauge, which is a bit different from other vehicles besides trucks. Here you get a column shifter with overdrive on and off. Works just fine. It's really not uh, too cheap feeling actually. Uh, some modern uh, column shifters like in the uh, old Cadillac Escalade uh, previous gen 2018 to 21, I think. Uh, I didn't really like that. It felt kind of cheap, but this actually feels more solidly built, surprisingly, <laughs> from 2004. So that's good. Over here, this is a full four-wheel drive truck, so it's uh, got two high, four high, and four low. On the fly, uh, you can just do that with that uh, switch right there. Here, it is a 2004, so it does have a CD uh, track right there. Here, you get a standard radio, AM, FM radio. Nothing too exciting, but uh, good easy buttons to use. Uh, this is pretty much a work truck, so you can uh, do that easily with gloves on, which is nice. This does have single zone air conditioning, and it does, of course, have heat with four speeds and a uh, good amount of modes. It's uh, pretty easy to use. Uh, you know, very easy to use with gloves as well, which is a good focus. Up here, you get a small storage area. I haven't really used it much yet, but you could definitely put some stuff in here. It is rubber lined, so that's nice. Your stuff won't slide around. And over here is gonna be your automatic headlight sensor. For the uh, A pillars in here, it's actually uh, pretty thin, not too hard to see out of, and it gets the traditional uh, swoop down in the window here, window line for all F-150s of the last few generations. 
here you do get a manual mirror, so I do have to flip it like that to uh, put it into night mode. But yeah, it's all right. Over here you do get an F-150 sticker straight from the factory, so I think that's a nice touch. And then over here, this is going to be your bench seat. You can uh, flip it up like this, get uh, six people sat in here, but typically I just leave it down for an armrest. For the seats, they are cloth. They uh, definitely don't have much side bolstering, but uh, for thigh bolstering, they're actually okay. And uh, overall, I'm six feet tall. I obviously am very comfortable driving this truck. It's built for pretty big people to be able to drive as well. So uh, yeah, overall, pretty comfortable. And it does come with uh, manual lumbar support for both the driver and the passenger up here. For your glove box over here, I have my original window sticker in there. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good size, uh, good size glove box. And then you also do get a bit of storage in here under the armrest. And you also get this thing, which I'll show on screen. This uh, currently works as my sunglass holder, but you can actually pull this off and uh, everything running along this track, this is actually modular, so you can get different attachments for this. It doesn't have a sunroof, but you can put a lot of different uh, storage uh, pieces up here and slide them along. So that's pretty cool. Let's do the visor test. So it does have a vanity mirror, nothing lighted. This is basically a work truck, but uh, it does not slide. It covers probably 80% of the window though, so nothing too bad. I'd give it uh, a pass, an adequate pass for the visor test. And for the rest of your visibility up here, pretty easy. Big uh, big truck out the back, pretty good, large window, very easy to see out of. And let's have a step in the back seat. All right, so here in the back seat, I'm six feet tall. I have the seat where I was, and uh, I have decent room back here. Nothing amazing, nothing too bad though. My knees are not touching, uh, but my feet don't have all that much room to go uh, beneath the seat here. I wish they had a bit of a taller cutout over there. Uh, for arm room though, it's great here. Uh, window sill uh, runs high, but also starts low, so it doesn't feel claustrophobic back here. Power windows, of course. Uh, no AC or climate vents, no controls back here. That's a much newer thing, but you do just get a 12 volt charger down there. And no uh, center pull down, because this is a truck, but uh, you can fit three people back here. You do have the uh, manual sliding window, so that's pretty good. And you do get uh, just some lights back here. Overall, it's uh, pretty roomy. This is uh, the Super Crew, so the larger of the three, the largest of the three uh, seating configurations for the rear passengers. And uh, I think it's pretty good. You could definitely fit adults back here for a good amount of time. And then just one more thing back here, if you pull this lever, this does have under seat storage, so you can flip the seat up and I have a air compressor there and then a, a tool for the bed. So nothing uh, nothing shabby. Pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty modular of a you know, good take apart truck. You can use it a lot of different ways for storage. And for my final thoughts on my 2004 Ford F-150 XLT with the 4.6 motor. I think uh, I'm very excited uh, to own this truck. I just bought it probably about four weeks ago now from filming, and uh, it's been my daily driver for the most part. I still have uh, a family old car, uh, the Volkswagen Passat, back way back on my channel, my first video. And um, yeah, so that's a lot better on the highway, understandably, and just, it you know, doesn't destroy gas. So uh, that I do use uh, for going distance, uh, if I'm you know driving more than like a half hour one way or something like that, or if I'm just all over the place all day, I will take that. But overall, this is uh, my daily car to and from uh, my typical commute, and then uh, yeah, just around town. I, I like driving a truck. It's big, it's cool, and uh, it has a V8, so I like having a V8. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, I have two high mileage cars, but um, you know, we'll see which one lasts longer. And uh, now I can split the weight between the two of them. So that is pretty good. And of course I can use this for uh, some side gigs. I have some side gigs lined up for this. And it's better in the snow. We go out of snow around here on occasion. We've had a quiet winter this time. And uh, yeah, overall I can take it uh, down some dirt roads, take it to some uh, slight off-roading I'd like to do in the future, maybe take it on a beach. And if I do any of that, I will try and record it. And yeah, overall for the interior, it's nothing uh, nothing too exciting, but nothing bad. It really does hold up okay from 2004. Uh, besides the seats, almost nothing is uh, you know bad in here. All the controls are, are uh, holding up well. The interior is doing just fine. And uh, even the exterior is doing pretty good. It has some rust, superficial, has some dents and scratches, but those do not bother me too much. And for $2,100 with 240,000 miles, I am happy with the purchase. Alrighty, that'll just about wrap up this review of my 2004 Ford F-150 XLT 4x4 Super Crew. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, or always reach out on the Instagram, same handle, at Radial Reviews, and uh, yeah, that'll just about do it. I will do a POV test drive with this truck at some point, but uh, I'll probably wait a few weeks to film that, just because I don't uh, drive this too aggressively, I, I baby this truck overall, so uh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll film that at some point. As always, drive with passion, thank you for watching, and take care.